Hello, welcome to the video. Um, yeah, a bit of a change. I know I was supposed to come back with uh, the Pymega video, but I had a few problems with that, but I'll get to that in the Pymega video. Anyway, um, I got an email from Tim Harris at Shareware Plus, and uh, he said, can I have your address? I've got something for you. Oh, what's going on here? So yeah, a couple of days later, I'll get a box. That box was this. Now, for those of you that don't know, this is a 1541 piece of software and hardware. So let's open it up. Now, this is something of a rarity nowadays because that is a real 1541 floppy disk, brand new. Damn. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've got one of those. Also, you get this, which is a cable. So I think, I've, I've never used it, so uh, I've never used this sort of thing. I think the cable um, connects to the serial port and gives you a comp composite output. And um, the 64 disk drive turns into uh, the whole, what it is? What, what am I saying? The C64 disk drive is a full 8-bit computer anyway. It's got RAM, ROM, CPU, CIAs, all sorts of stuff. And it is a full computer. It just doesn't have a display processor um, or, or sound, sort of. And um, this, I think, turns it into the entire demo machine. So, yeah, you get this, this nice thing here that says... I don't know if we can get this on there. Will it focus? Free spin. A demo, a Commodore 1541 sound and video demo. So basically the blurb on the back says, free spin generates sound using the floppy drive stepper motor and video through the serial bus. With just a Commodore 1541 disk drive, free spin cable and a standard 64 monitor, you can watch the free spin demo by Reflex that runs directly from the 1541 disk drive without a 64 or 128. Well, I've got to see this. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to dig out a 1541. I've got, got two on the shelf there and I've got two 1541 twos, but I suspect that if you're generating sound from the stepper motor, you're going to absolutely knock those heads all over the place, probably into next week, I should think. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get an old 1541 out, and uh, we're going to try it on that and see where we get to. So, yeah, I'll come back afterwards in a bit. Okay, so here we are. Um, the setup's going to be a little weird. I've got the free spin cable plugged directly into the back of the TV here. I'm just swapping over to... The serial you'll see why in a moment um, I've had to put the camera on top of the disk drive um, I've had a little bit of trouble with this so I've got a few of these 1541s I've got three of them actually on the shelf and um, yeah I think the guy that had them first I know the guy um, he's sadly no longer with us but I think he may have fitted quite drive stops or something like that in it because the sound was very muted so I've sat the camera on top of the 1541. Now in order to get this to work um, that that will give us a sound however video I think the free spin demo um, does something a bit dodgy to the composite signal and the modern TVs just won't display it. I've tried the retro tink I've got on the shelf which you can see the color bars on now that's not having it um, I've got an OSSC somewhere, but frankly, I'm surrounded by crap. So, right, I've got the trusty uh, C128neo ready to power up. So, first of all, let's get this. Oh yes, love that sound. Right, here we go. This is my start apps. Excellent. Enter 64 mode, bam, 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 here we go. Right, so I know I've got scan lines on there at the minute, that's just my preference. So if I go 
load star comma eight comma one oh. yeah actually this is this drive is defaulted to device nine so there we go oh right important safety tip put the bloody disc in right so here we go Try that one again, shall we? I'm hoping the camera picks up these sounds. And there we go. Now, to run the free spin demo, you have to load it. But because it's device 9, you, this is the, uh, the basic sort of loader. So, I need to change that to 9... Um, Enter, that's a nine. Nice, got an SYS there, so we know it's running some machine, well of course it's running machine code. You ain't doing this in basic. Right, so let's run it. And then you get this nice thing on the screen telling you how to make a cable and saying that it's installed the program into the memory of the 1541, which is quite a thing because you haven't got a lot in there. Anyway, I think it's, 8k off I think something like that might even be 2k anyway um, so yeah to get this to work we've got to open and close the uh, uh, the lid or the catch or whatever you want to call it in this case I've got one of those lids that you push down and lift up on this drive it's not a turn to to lock job right so I'm gonna turn off the 128 this drive still spinning I'm gonna undo take out the serial cable Please do turn off your machine before you do that, if you run this demo. Right, we're in. I'm going to put it over to AV. Now, this, the picture's going to be distorted. Um, I'm going to see if I can find a video of it and sync it in the, uh, in the actual edit of this video. So, I'll, I'll get someone else's properly displayed video and pop that on there. I'll hijack it from someone. Right, so I'm going to open the door and then we're going to have the demo. Here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right, I don't know what happened there. It's just stopped, so I'm assuming that's the end of the demo. But um, I'll see you in the outro. Right, so there you have it, the free spin demo. Um, I'm not surprised that I had trouble getting the video to sync properly because um, I, I've, I've, a long time ago I did some work on composite signals and um, yeah, it's it's a bit finicky and I'm not surprised new displays have trouble with it. Um, I might have been able to get it to work properly if I'd used um, the OSSC and built a custom profile or something. But I suspect it's been seriously abused to get that detail on the screen. But no, that, that was really good. I mean, the disk drives I've had on the shelf, I must have had up there for five years and never used them. And I pulled them down. Both of them work straight away. Um, I'm hoping the sound comes out all right. And we'll have a look on YouTube and see if I can't lift um, someone else's copy of the video to overlay um, so you can see what it is. And it, it looks really quite swift. Um, it's going to be in black and white, but that's because of the nature of what they're doing. They're just modulating the... Um, the Luma signal so yeah anyway massive thanks to Tim that was superb chap um, that really did make me smile getting a, a physical Commodore disc uh, through the post in 2025 brilliant brilliant um, yeah so for anyone else check out um, uh, Shareware Plus I'll put a link in the description um, they do all sorts of Commodore stuff on there so that's worth a look and for everyone else the usual hellos go to retro for you 8-bit retro refix we've got a discord channel come along have a chat talk some crap brilliant anyway until the next video later